Now before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way. With these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 by 7 customer support. The Happy New Year software special sale is live right now, so don't miss out, Keys Fan. Upgrade your software at unbeatable prices today. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 52% discount for Windows Series with RTG52 and 62% discount for Microsoft Office and Bundle with RTG62. Don't forget to check the descriptions for details. What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, we're taking a look at the brand new version of SEMU for Android, which comes with major improvements in performance, compatibility, and some exciting new features. The current version of the CMU emulator is already in beta and is actively being developed. It's actually the first ever Wii U emulator for Android devices. This is a forked version of the CMU Android port, featuring the latest beta version 16. And these are the minimum requirements, at least from Android 11 to 14. And Android 10 or lower are unsupported. So on assets, download and install the CMU package. Also, like if you have any errors or app crash issues, you can try with some other previous versions like the version 15 or 14. In this video, I'll be testing it on a non-Snapdragon device with a Mali GPU, since many of you have been asking for an in-depth video on this. So here's my Samsung Galaxy device, powered by the Exynos 1380 chipset. The GPU is a Mali G68 MP5, which delivers performance almost on par with the MediaTek Dimensity 7300. The device comes with six gigs of RAM, UFS storage, and is running on the latest Android 14. All right, let's start by closing all apps. Now let's head over to the file manager. The first thing you need to do is get Wii U game ROM files. Let me show you, these are the ROM files I downloaded. They have a .zip file extension. What I'm gonna do is simply extract the file. Okay, so the file is now extracted. Also, keep in mind that these ROM files will typically have a WUX or WUD extension. This means we'll need to provide this file path to the CMU emulator. Here, I'll close. Now let's open CMU emulator. Also, one more thing. For better performance, set battery setting to no restriction for this app. All right, the interface looks empty. Head over to settings. Go to general settings. Add game path. As I mentioned earlier, this is where you'll import your game ROM files. Make sure to allow file access permission as usual. Once that's done, go back. Now, head over to the input settings. Here, you'll see multiple controller options. Select controller one and then choose Wii U gamepad. As you can see, the buttons are already preloaded and ready to go. You can also customize the input overlay settings like the inputs opacity and overlay. Now get back, go to graphic settings. Make sure to enable these both options like Async Shader Compiler and also enable accurate barriers. V-Sync is set to off and here set aspect ratio to stretched. Okay, now to audio settings, leave everything to default. Overlay settings, set position of the overlay, enable FPS meter, CPU and RAM usage, leave others to default. All right, now everything is set. Now, one more very important thing. You need to import the keys file into this emulator for everything to work properly. Open CMU folder. And here, you'll see the keys file. If we open it, it shows that this file contains all the keys needed for decrypting the disk file system data of the files in WUD and WUX formats. However, as you can see right now, it's completely empty. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll open an archiver or any advanced file manager. Now, you might have a question, how do you get the keys file? It's simple. You can download the keys file from the same website. Once you've downloaded it, just extract the keys file. Next, copy this file and replace the existing file in the path shown to the CEMU data folder path. Just paste it here and replace it. All right, it's done. Now, if we open the file again, you'll see all the decryption keys for the ROM files. Each ROM has its own decryption key and the emulator will automatically pick the right one. Now, I'll close everything. Let's go back to CMU and refresh. 
Still not seeing the ROMs? Don't worry, here's the catch. Completely close the application and head to its app settings. Go to storage settings and clear the cache. That's it. Now reopen the CMU emulator. All right, it's loaded. Let's also import some other game ROM files. Okay, we're all set. Now it's time to test these pretty intensive games on our Molly device. All right, it's started. To be honest, this emulator is way better than the WinLater emulator on Molly devices, which uses VirGL drivers. Those drivers are mostly incompatible with DirectX 10 or higher titles. They are the most wanted. To join this elite group, you'll need to earn the right to race them, beat them all, and you'll be number one. Fairhaven's most wanted driver. And look at this, guys, it's crazy. We're running the amazing Spider-Man 2 on a Mali GPU via this emulator. For better performance, I recommend setting the emulator to multi-core compilation to boost FPS. Also, set the maximum number of threads for optimal results. And one more thing to note since this is screen recorded, there's about a 5-7 FPS difference. As far as I know, the only thing holding Semu back is the graphical issues. The game compatibility, though, is pretty amazing, so... There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Hey, stop that guy! He just robbed me! Hey, kid! A little help? Not my problem. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Do let me know in the comments section below how this emulator works on your Molly or any other Android devices. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.